one. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Cheers. One, two, three. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Shayla. If this is your first time here, I'm back. And as I promised on Instagram, I told you I'm gonna show you, or tell you rather, how to throw a litty, fun, just the best house party ever. Just a few things that you need, some things you need to think about. I've thrown a few parties in my day. <laughs> I've been to several parties. You guys know we go to events all the time. And I know what is needed. I know what's necessary. So I'm going to share that with you guys so that you guys can have some fun AF house parties this summer. Okay. So for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, I threw less a casino themed birthday party. Well, we kind of threw it together and we had blackjack tables, craft tables. It was such a good time. And I really didn't have a ton of decoration, just some balloons and like a big Las Vegas sign. <laughs> just a few things here and there. And then the casino tables were kind of the decoration. And yes, we cleared out the living room. It was, it was so fun. And the one thing I think that just kind of took it to the next level, well, the casino tables, bringing Vegas to the backyard was, you know, took it to the next level. But one thing that everyone enjoyed and I was kind of shocked about was the shot ski, this little board behind me here. I got it off Amazon. It's a board with four shot holes and you just put a plastic cup in there and four people take shots at a time. And it was like, people were lined up to take shots, honey. Like it was a hit. Okay, so after you make your list of people who are coming, that's the first thing. That's what you do first, okay? The second, you have to go on Amazon and buy disposable trash cans. I've been to parties where there are not enough trash cans and it gets messy. And it, it's, it's almost like frustrating because there's nowhere to throw the trash and it, it piles up on the counters. It's not fun. It's not cute. And it's a headache to clean up. So disposable 30 gallon trash cans are paper and they come with a bag inside. Everyone throws their trash away and you want to put maybe like three or four of them around the house in the backyard. And then once the party's over, you just tie it and then throw it in the trash can. It's disposable. It is, when I tell you the number one thing, you it has to be on the top of your list, okay? It has to be. Okay, the second thing that you absolutely need to know, you need to know what every single person drinks who's coming to your party. So for me, I, I think I have a pretty good idea of what all my friends drink for the most part, and we just make sure that we have a bar that's stocked full of every type of alcohol, like gin, Tito's. Oh, that's vodka. <laughs> gin, vodka cognac okay we got the hennessy okay whiskey of course bourbon tequila we, we make sure we have everything so you want to make sure you know what everyone drinks and how much they drink so you know how much liquor to buy and you know you know i have a friend i'm not gonna say any names but i have a friend who can her and her husband can go through a whole liter that liter of tito's back there so whenever we have a party and i know they're coming we we have a whole extra liter just for them <laughs> Okay, so along with the alcohol that everyone drinks, because you need to know what everyone drinks. If you don't know, you need to hit them up. Hey, what, what do you usually like to drink? Um, and just make sure you have it there. And also chasers, like what are you guys mixing it with? I have a lot of friends that just take shots. They don't even really hold a drink. They just take shots. So I'm like, okay, those people like to chase with either Coke, with water, you know, so you want to make sure that you have all the chasers, all the mixers, everything. And we kind of like to make sure we have a little bit of everything. So we'll have sparkling water because that's, you know, you, we'll, we'll talk about sparkling water in a minute, okay? So club soda, we're we'll, we'll, we gonna talk about it. Um, sparkling water, pineapple juice, Sprite, Coke. We tend to have like all the sodas and then we'll have like cranberry juice, orange juice, lemonade even, you know? You just gotta make sure that you have something for everyone because the worst thing is like going to a party and they don't even, ha they don't have anything. And you're just like, okay, I guess I'll just drink this, but it's not my drink, you know? That's just, it just brings the level of fun down half a notch for them, you know? So you wanna make sure that everyone is is gonna have a good time. Okay, the third thing, and this is, these are all I feel like pretty straightforward, but sometimes people just don't understand the assignment, honey. So when you're throwing a party, make sure you have water. Um, we had about 65, 70 people at the house for Les's birthday, and I think we had like three 24 packs, six, and we went through it. And that was like the first time we ever like ran out of water. So make sure that you have enough, enough water, maybe, if you're having like 50 people maybe have make sure you have 50 bottles of water <laughs> or more <laughs> okay this is one of the most important things next to the trash cans next to the alcohol that you need to have at your house party um i mean alcohol is fun you know people will have fun with alcohol but for us and our group of friends we need games 
Okay, and I'm not talking about like regular schmegler games. I'm talking about games that I know the guys are gonna enjoy, games I know the girls are gonna enjoy. Like, you need to make sure you have all your I's dotted, the T's are crossed. So for the guys, uh, Les found this game, it's called Putterball, and it's basically like, how would you describe it? It's like beer pong. So there's your putting, like golf putting, um, with a golf club and you're trying to make it in a hole that's the shape of like, I guess, a triangle, just like beer pong. And the guys love it. It's on Amazon, I'm gonna link that. That's a great game to have. So next to that, another amazing game, and everyone knows about this, beer pong. People love beer pong, okay? There's tournaments, all, all types of things are happening with beer pong, so make sure you have beer pong. Um, the last party we had before lessons, we had, well, this is cause I, it's fun for me, but I had a salsa instructor come and do like a salsa lesson, which not everyone did the salsa, but everyone had fun watching us do salsa and it was so fun. So I think sometimes adding a little something like that is fun or you can, you know, do like a card game, you could do taboo, whatever it is. Taboo gets, gets kind of real, so, you know, be wise with taboo. One more, one more game other than the shot ski is a game that counts as a game. So we have the putter ball, which I'm telling you, that's like a hit. They get the, the guys get competitive. Beer pong, which everyone can play. Everyone likes to play. Um, we have that extra large Jenga, which is like three feet tall. That's always fun to just have. You want to have like little things here and there. Um, our group of friends love, I was going to say like, love hookah. Hookah is, I don't know if it's popping where y'all are from, but hookah is like a big deal over here. And so we always set up, we own two hookahs. We'll either set those up or we'll hire someone to kind of be in charge of the hookah to set it up, make sure the coals don't go cold, you know, that it's smokable. People love hookah, so we have like a little hookah area. Um, and obviously, I am I take it to the extreme with my parties. Like you could just have the beer pong and the putt putt and people are gonna have a good time and alcohol. People are gonna love it, okay? But you know, little things, like extra things, it makes, it just creates a vibe. And if you're only throwing a house party, like a big house party, I'm talking about like a big house party, once a year, like you might as well go all out, okay? So when it comes to food, I would say the most popular thing to have at a party are tacos. So you could either have like a taco truck, a taco cart, where they're maybe in the backyard making the tacos fresh for everyone. Um, or a taco truck pull up to the house. Tacos are always a hit. People will go back for seconds. I recommend it, okay? One thing that I did one year for a party was have late night snacks. And listen, nobody has time to put together a little snack tray or whatever it is. So what we did was we got snack sized chips. So by the end of the night when people were about to leave, we had a box next to the door and we had Flaming Hot Cheetos. Yeah, we went there. We did junk food, okay? Cause that's what you want at one or two in the morning when you're stumbling out the door, okay? <laughs> okay, let's talk about liquor for a second because we have a few friends that only like 1942 and you know, Les and I are very much into trying different tequilas, different whiskeys, bourbons, like we're very much into alcohol and the flavor and we're always trying to elevate our flavor and for me, 1942 is just like, I feel like it's for the little kids. Like when, you, when you're trying to pop bottles and that's all you know, you know, like let's elevate a little bit. There's some really good tequila. There's some really good inexpensive tequila. Like Casamigos is really that chick. Like, and it's affordable, but it is good tequila. Also, I don't know if you can see, oh, this side, Sincoro, right there. That tequila is really good. It's so smooth. 1942, and trust me, we always have it. Okay, we always have it at the house, but 1942, it just does something like, ugh. Ooh, you know, see my face like, ooh, ooh, ooh. One thing that we don't have here that I absolutely love, like Casa Azul. Ooh, that's, if you guys haven't tried that, next time you have a party, get one bottle. If anyone asks you, oh, what should I bring? Tell them that and see if they bring it. Cause that is, a, it's so smooth. It's almost something, you know, you wanna take a shot of it. You just wanna sip it and enjoy the flavor and just the, the decadence of it all. So if you're throwing a party and this is, you want it to be like magical, uh, balloons are always a great way to decorate a party. Like I don't feel like you really need anything other than that. Like have balloons in the front so people know that's the party. Have balloons in the back. You know, decorate, it, it really does kind of change the vibe and make it feel more like a party. If you have a pool, you can always throw some things in the pool like balloons, just tie the balloon to a rock and it's gonna stay in place, okay? That's what I did for Les's last party. We blew up dice, like I found on Amazon, like big dice, blew it up, 
attached the string to a rock and threw it in the pool. And it just, it flowed, it was really cute. Another great idea, and this is, again, if you're going all out and you're like, okay, we want, uh, not fireworks, but something like that, where it's just like, boom, boom, you know, a, a kind of like a wow factor. We went to a party, it was one of Desi's parties, and I think it was Steven's birthday. It was either Steven, no, I think it was Steven's birthday like three years ago or four years ago, someone's birthday. Thea's birthday, I don't know, someone's birthday. Desi's birthday, it was someone's birthday, okay? She had a bar, it, and this was like a house party, like a party party. She had um, a bartender that did like a fire show, so lit a bunch of shots on fire. It was like a whole fire performance, so I think you could even Google bartenders that light drinks on fire and boom. And that's kind of like a fun little like intermission in the party where everyone can just watch and be like, whoa, so cool. And it kind of jump starts the craziness where people are, are gonna be stumbling home. Okay, and throwing up, I don't know. <laughs> okay, the last thing you need for a party is obviously music. If you can get a DJ, I mean, obviously, you know, like a DJ will just kill it. You don't have to worry about anything um, but if you can't get a DJ make sure that you have the music set up make sure you have a little bit of what everyone likes last time not for Les's party because we had a DJ for his party but the time before that we just played music in the house and um, we had a Spotify playlist and we just kept the iPad out so people could change the song when they wanted so it was kind of like you know request your own song do, do whatever you want just so everyone's having a good time but just make sure the music's on point we need good music okay and if you don't have a dj and maybe if you don't have any type of speakers at home you can buy a speaker like a loud speaker and project it and that <laughs> like when we had our little party the dj had one little speaker and or maybe he had two he had two speakers and that, it was booming, okay? So music has to be on point and make sure you're not just playing music that you like. Like if you're having a party and like you love country music, I'm just using this as an example, and no one else really listens to country music, the vibe is gonna be off, okay? If the majority of people like hip hop, you better play hip hop, okay? Even if you don't like it. I mean, everyone likes hip hop, but you know what I'm saying. Like make sure the music's on point. When you're throwing a party, you can't be selfish. It's about being selfless. So hopefully this helped you guys have a great house party. Remember what I said in the beginning, trash cans. Trash cans, that's really important. And make sure you have enough liquor that everyone loves, chasers, sparkling water. Oh, that's, that's what I was gonna talk to you guys about. I have my little drink here. So my drink of choice when I'm going out well now, now, because sometimes it's wine, okay? But wine makes me very fluffy and it makes me retain a lot of water. I know I'm partying and taking shots and all that. I will do Tito's vodka because I can still, still take shots of tequila with that, I know. I'm like a beast. Tito's vodka, soda water, zero calories, okay? And lime, that's it. That is the drink if you're trying to maintain your uh, fitness goals and you're not trying to wake up the next day with a bunch of water weight, feeling bloated, feeling like gross, because uh, nothing's worse than waking up the next day and your face is like swollen. That happens to me off wine. That's why I'm like, mm, wine I can do during the day and that's it, but I can't be drinking it all night. No, no ma'am. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you learned a couple, you know, tips here and there. Comment below, let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully I was pretty clear with my how to throw a house party video, but let me know if you have questions. I'm also gonna link everything below. Okay, all the Amazon links. Everything is off Amazon, okay? Thank you guys so much again. I hope you guys have a great week, a great weekend, a great party, and I'm gonna see y'all next time. <laughs> Tito's. Paddles up. Yeah, one thing about the Slamski, you gotta commit. <laughs> you have to commit, because if someone does it, it's gonna get hurt. My name's Shayla. This is your first. Ooh, ooh, I haven't been on YouTube in a minute, honey. <laughs>